Okay, I guess, let's see, what time is it? Yeah, it's kind of late. Um, I guess I kind of want to check out Survival before we quit, though. Like, I'd really like to do runs with the other characters, too, but there's just not going to be enough time. So, I guess we'll do a little bit of Survival with Cherry and see what happens. Yeah, I did okay to run Mania Plus. That's why I was so scary at the end, because I was out on zero lives with Cherry in the final battle. So I played it ultra safe, just to make sure we finished. They're putting a stop to the Y Twins, the virus activities our heroes realize they need to prepare for anything. He went to Dr. Zandruhel. From the remains of Mr. X's brain, he built a machine to replicate the twisted mind behind it all. Powerful artificial intelligence able to simulate any encounter they might face. I feel like there's a lot of ethical questions around using the remains of someone's brain for this kind of thing, but okay. Curiously, our heroes jumped into the simulation, an endless challenge ahead of them, the ultimate trial, Mr. X Nightmare. Random sim is in survival mode, you've played an infinite amount of for a number of randomly generated levels, you only get one life. Each time you complete a level, you choose a perk, you gain stars of points. Random sim. Gauges in a sequence of levels, enemies and perks, that's so always different. Weekly Sim is in cage in a set sequence of levels, enemies and perks, it changes every week. Huh. Hey, maybe we'll try the Weekly Sim? I'm no dead. I just mass murdered a room full of. That rolling guys, and now I'm talking about ethics and morals. I mean, hey, if those guys hadn't attacked me and just let me walk through, we would have been fine. But they had to go and pick a fight. Although, I guess if we're being entirely fair, we probably would have punched our way through regardless. <laughs> That's just what the heroes of Streets of Rage do. They talk with their fists and nothing else. Warm up. Up. Oh, can't jump. Uh, with Cherry? No, absolutely not. Okay, so there's meteors. Interesting. Survival instinct is damage taken minus 12% when your health is below 50. 
That seems like a pretty good perk. What's this one? Golden pipe. Spawns a pipe that deals a lot of damage. Uh. I feel like we really don't need a weapon like that against what we're currently facing. Pick that head suck not being able to jump. I imagine. Actually, is there even a character at all who would do okay losing their ability to jump? Because Axel's survival depends a lot on being able to jump. I guess... Blaze... Blaze doesn't need to leave the ground too much, but... Uh, her biggest mobility is an air special, so... You know... I guess... Void, maybe? But... I want to say it would suck for all the characters. Void? I guess I'm not experienced enough with Floyd. He's perfect. Ah! Uh. <laughs> well, this is an interesting uh, fight. Apparently that's a pit. Hilarious. food underneath that money. Okay, so I can pick up a... Or no, Star Moose spawns four rockets. Uh, interesting. Fire weapon adds fire effect of weapon attacks. The enemies create a fire zone when they hit the ground. That's interesting. Um, I feel like the weapon one might be more useful than the very special one. One of the best soundtracks of the DLC so far. It definitely is pretty good. Yeah, I figured it was... It was, I just used my star move, but I get rockets. The thing is, I only have one star move right now, so... Maybe take advantage of, uh... Something that's gonna be a little more plentiful. In theory, anyway. Oh! Well, I guess we're playing... We're fighting classic, uh... Streets of Rage 3 Ravens, I guess? This must be a Streets of Rage 3 boss then. Thank <laughs> you. 
sharpened tool. Weapon durability plus 20%. Fire blitz. That's fire effect of blitz move. Uh, considering how much I spam my blitz, I think we're gonna go fire blitz. Oh yeah, Onet already told me about the code to do do the Rue. I'll eventually get around to playing him, just uh... I wanted to check out survival mode with uh, with Cherry first. And uh, we're probably going to be done for the night after that, but I'll, I'll pick up Streets of Rage 4 again in the future and uh, make sure I do at least one run with each... Uh, each of the new characters, and probably do like a salty run back with Estelle, because I'm still sad that we died in stage 12 and had to stage select it. <laughs> Gone are the days when cheat codes were secrets. I mean, back in those days, it was, it was a ploy to just sell strategy guys anyway, right? So... Completely appropriate music for fighting Estelle. It looks like it's Skytrain Estelle though. Nope, I guess not. Uh, so she's doing, she's doing the firebombs, but she's also throwing grenades, so it's like a hybrid. I like the stun from the fire when the enemies get by that. It's ultimate Estelle. <laughs> Didn't feel that ultimate to me, but... Interesting, so there's three choices now. It's the electric blitz. Ooh, hitting the enemy propagates 10% of damage to nearby enemies. Hmm, this is gonna be hard for other these other options to contest, I think. Elemental star move. All your elemental bonuses are applied to your star movement as 50% less damage. I mean, that still seems pretty good if I've accumulated a lot of elements. Air Master, gain an extra jump. Okay, that's actually kind of tempting. But I can kind of get extra jumps by footstooling people anyway, so... I think I'm gonna go electric blitz and just, like, go all in on my flying knee. Just wait till I meet her in level 56, she's gonna bring her tank. <laughs> what did she find her she find her way into Double Dragon Neon?
lightning sense too, I like that. Because it prevents them from maneuvering around me. It's great. Golden knife. Okay, maybe I'll pick up tactical support now, because I feel like getting a gold weapon is is not as helpful long term. Just like the blitz, blitz option was a little better than tactical support, but I feel like I'd rather have this, especially now that I've accumulated three stars. So I'll do this. Yourself damage dealt 20% when I put 20% when I have full health. I see. <laughs> or I can tactical support to increase it to 8 rock. <laughs> hmm. I think I could go with the damage dealt up. At least it'll help, uh, help make each room to start a little bit easier. So if we get some uh, problem spawns at the very start, maybe I can eliminate them before I lose the buff. Electric heavy attacks as electric effect to charge attack. Hmm, I rarely use Cherry's heavy attack. On the last basic combo attack? Uh, except I rarely use that too because it's so unsafe. But man, 30% of the damage propagated to near my enemies. That's still pretty tempting.
Otherwise, I upgrade fire weapons. Uh, I guess we'll do the heavy electric heavy attacks. are recovering really fast. Because I'm coming back around to immediately blitz again, but... I think I might have picked another survival and instinct upgrade. I just wanted to pick up the money. the mistake of trying to pick up the turkey until we've just, uh, selected here. <laughs> Toxic heavy attacks. Enemies lose health over time, so by 3.5%. Yeah, I wish I could get that with the blitz over the heavy attack. Although, I might still get it with the combo. Score earn plus 40%. Um... I think I'd rather have the element. Even though... Hmm, the score up might actually matter as after a point, but I think the slow might also matter too, so we'll, we'll bank on that. Oh, what is... Alright, we got a pitchfork. Pitchfork is strong, I guess. This is a cute recreation, though. Okay, cannot grab. What? Oh, Robax.
glad the blue containers don't explode like they would normally do in Streets of Rage 2. Ooh, electric special. Uh, seems like a pretty obvious pick. Electric weapon. Both are pretty good, but special doesn't require me to actually find a weapon. And I, I'm usually using the special to protect myself anyway. This, this pitch work definitely looks like it's not going to last too much longer. But it definitely helped a lot there. Yeah, it took one hit and it's gone. Nice. Okay then. Actually, can I see what I've... Oh, I can't see what I've picked up, so I don't even know what that one I accidentally picked up does. Does anyone know? Ooh, defense up. Yeah, considering we only have one life, I'm gonna do defense up. We're fighting. Oh, I'm fighting myself. Interesting. Alongside of Borba. Kinda of brutal that the enemies also use Sir specials when they're running player characters. Old school rules, your special moves cost 40% less health. But you can't restore health by hitting enemies. Yikes. Oh no. Fire special. That's definitely tempting. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that rather than increasing tactical support. No, I can't see. Yeah, defense didn't stop you from getting bodied. I mean, it's survival. You're supposed to lose eventually, right? So, I'm, I'm fully ready to get bodied eventually. You had 15 rockets, nice.
Oh, that's nice. The so the the, the drop down after um, my foot spilling actually triggers that. That's that's definitely really helpful. Did it again. I think that was a defense up there, so whatever. So the proximity to these are is the trigger that is considerable. Hmm, landmine. Eh, maybe I shouldn't mess with that. Things are definitely getting tougher, and we're getting less fear too. Uh, electric special, so we increase that damage. Class cannon. You do 100 more, take 100 more. I want to say no thanks to that one. I'm really glad I didn't accidentally pick up something like glass cannon.
what if they're sitting in a mean field, you for 8% of the damage, but healing items won't heal you anyway. Mmm, I think 8% is too low for taking that. So I guess we'll just... We'll make our fire blitz better. We're probably due for a boss at some point here. I mean, we did get the chapter 10 boss, or stage 10 boss, but he was a mini boss. Oh, it's Adam. Let's see. Making funny sounds at him. Really glad my blitz has so much invincibility. Man, this Adam is just spamming the crap out of Paris Slam. Definitely a bit of unnecessary damage that I took there. I think we still got the full anyway. <laughs> Dad is whooping her butt for not staying in school and trying to! His power slam didn't beat my flying knee though. Fire effects to charge. So we're gonna have three elements on the heavy attacks if we do that. Otherwise, electric or fire weapon. I think we're just gonna keep doing the heavy attacks. So. Oh, this is cute. I didn't notice this until now. It's graffiti of everyone fighting the the Y twins. Seventeen. Now we're back to the fire zone. What was that other enemy? Is that another Barbon? No, that's just a Galcia. Although a Galcia with a million health. Actually, I'm pretty sure these Galceas have more health than that Borman did. Man, these biker chicks are really messed up by the, the electricity. It stops them from winding up to uh, try to hit the meat. So many here though.
multiple Mr. Wides, huh? Well, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Mitz or whatever. Damn, I'm taking so much chip damage here. I'm not gonna have any health going into the next stage. Oh, I have Air Master. That's okay. Speed up. I think we'll take the speed up. I definitely feel like we're being outclassed here a little. I might just die on this next stage instead of 19. <laughs> That piano is not destructible. Oh boy, there's multiple. Defense up. Oh, I guess I must have accidentally taken another defense up because we're at 15, so we can go up to 20. Pull them boomerang. And uh, I guess I'll do the defense up.
keep getting new tasers? Oh, the taser doesn't break. Um, that's... That seems like cheating. Oh god, I can use the condors as lightning batteries if they keep walking. Burn my stars. Maybe I should actually go over the score up. <laughs> Thanks. It's like another boss stage. Shiva. Okay. Uh, if this was Mania Plus Shiva, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> Well, I assume it's probably player character Shiva. No, I guess he's not discolored though, so... It's probably something like the stage 6 one. Oh, and Nora. Oh boy. Well, actually, the Kelsia might help here, because if I hit stop a whole bunch on the Gels, like the Super Saiyan ones, then that just gives it more chance for the lightning to propagate. Maybe the electricity will kill them. <laughs> I can't believe Nora is lasting longer than Shiva though. <laughs> I guess Shiva is a little more aggressive, but...
kind of want to avoid using a star here if I can. I think we can kill Nora without having anything to do. I'm getting too many unintentional grabs and that's making me nervous. <laughs> Oh, hey, yes. <laughs> the swordfish. Alright, I think we're obligated to use that since I was on the front of the DLC advertisement. <laughs> Alright, gonna night on it. Thanks for watching. Have a good sleep, and thanks for the luck. Man, although I'd also like the swiffer. The swiffer is usually pretty good. Oh. Okay, score up. Golden Halberd. <laughs> Or go fire weapon. Uh, let's keep going score, I guess. Go see it doing that. It's like they've become big fans or something. These were the Robo Cody's from, or not Cody. Oh yeah, I, I am getting it mixed up with Final Fight now. <laughs> so I'm thinking of the Robo, Robo Cody's from. Or no, wait, no, it, it would be Robo Axel. So I was thinking they might be the ones from Street Street Three Robo. Whoever that is. Oh boy, multiple Mr. X's. What could go wrong? Except for everything. Man, and he's got that counter every time. Yeah, I need to be away from him. Need that we're fighting stuff from previous games too. Is... Sorry, that's ow. Uh, I think we're, we're in trouble. Oof. We have no health left. We're probably dead in the next section.
Man, building a super blitz is definitely paid off here. Damn it. <laughs> Casual fire taser, however that works. Turn that around. Fire Heavy versus Toxic Blitz. Ah, oh, I think I have to do Toxic Blitz because building the Super Blitz has been really, really useful. We gotta have a boss stage scene. Well, not quite a boss, but I guess it's triple dwarven. Got a bit of a combo there. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep taking the swordfish. Alright, what do we got here? Lightning Blitz? Lightning Blitz or Damage Up? Ooh. Um... I mean, technically this makes it so that Lightning Blitz picks up a little more damage, I think. So I think we'll just do the general damage up. Here's our bo actual boss stage. Hmm, I wonder if we can get the meta. What's the stage looks designed to provide that, but let's see.
Okay, I guess we're not doing the mecha. Up. Oh, and Halberd, our toxic heavy attacks. Uh, if it was toxic blitz, I'd probably consider it, but we should probably do a defense. Mids white. Mids white indeed. Well, I think we're doing damage up. The faster we clear this stuff, the better.
the amount of armor he has. That's not right. By himself, he can't really do damage, just spamming these is really weird. Our special... Hey buddy, a random ally spawns at the start of each level? <laughs> That's cool. Let's try that. Oh, we got a cop. <laughs> oh boy, where are these? I think our buddy died. Rip, uh, whatever cough that one was. Okay. Very special or gold over Oh, very special. Although we're not using our special that much these days. I think I use weapons even less, so... I don't... Oh, like a durian. Axe and the Commissioner, huh? Oh, and Bayo. Okay, I guess I need to be careful because Max is going to grab my buddy. Well, I guess except for he's dead now, but you know. Oh, nice! Max actually friendly fires everyone else. That's funny. Ooh, bad combo.
Yeah, the specials are actually not feeling worth it, too, because it uses up so much life. That yeah, it becomes a bigger risk. Oh man, I'm so tempted to do electric weapon, because electric weapon with the durian would be really stupidly funny. But I think toxic heavy attacks is the practical pick. Oh, just three Wrecking Balls. No big, right? And that is a Super Kubo with um, a giant sword. I am also taking a million damage from these guys. Kinda of disappointed to end up killing myself like that, but at least I took the enemy with me. <laughs> so this mode definitely really favors being able to spam something with iframes, and Sherry kinda of just wrecks it. Cause as long as I can get all that elemental stuff on her knee, like it's really hard to kill me, and then I'm doing just tons of damage to everything around me. In some stages, it's a bit of a flaw to try to do it, but for the most part, like, it just mangles enemies. Interesting mode, but I feel like... I feel like it's gonna be a little centralized by invincibility moves. I feel like what they might need to do is, uh... For the defensive ups, they need to make it so that it also reduces the amount of... A special or green life bar that is generated by using specials. Because there was just a point afterward where uh, it was almost better to take the hits than to try to special to avoid the hits. Just because if I got tagged after the special, which is very likely when there's 15 to 20 enemies running around. I just lose all that life, so it's almost better to to take the knockdown for the iframes there instead. So I think that's a little bit unintuitive with this mode, and maybe they need to do something to fix that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, all these enemies get added in training mode because I knocked them out. Cool. Weapon pack three. So that's what an axe, a lightsaber, a different type of knife, and a flashbang. No idea what that thing in the green jar is. I think it's a jar. There's our swordfish umbrella and pitchfork. I wonder what these are being unlocked for? I guess maybe the training mode? Unless this also causes it to spawn in the main game or something. That'd be a little weird though. Especially since the umbrella's already there in uh, stage 3. Survival artwork pack two. Okay, well that's extras for sure. Up in pack one. Again, not sure what's going on there, especially since we saw the durian in uh, stage six. Survival artwork pack one. 
alternate blitz unlocked. Sliding knee. I see. Tonight defense is special unlocked. A somersault kick. Hmm. I kind of want to play around with those, but it's definitely too late for me to be digging into that. Oh, dude, that's some special analog neck break? What? Very special, uh, special stage effects. That's thematic, though. Man, definitely didn't expect that to go as long as it did. Man, so I came just one level short of getting whatever the last thing is. Is. Or I guess, I don't know if it's the last one, but according to that battery gauge, it seems like it's the last one. Hmm, okay, yeah, so it looks like... Looks like it's go to a stage in an increment of five to unlock stuff for most of these. And then there's a few where it's only up to 25 or... It... I guess if, if you're doing Streets of Rage 1, they have so little faith in the Streets of Rage 1 characters that you only need to do up to stage five. before we quit. I'm curious. Is it options where we set it then? Or do we have to set it in survival? Oh! Different skins, cool. Uh, let me set the moves. Unless maybe that's a thing that shows up as a item everywhere, but that wouldn't show up in the weekly sim then. Because it's a fixed thing. Hmm. I can't toggle down to see the moves either. So that's a little weird. What if I... Cherry Hunter. Oh, okay, so I have to select. Interesting. Ah, uh, I see. So, if I get, it, get to level 30, it's gonna be uh, an alternate special. Star special. Interesting. Okay, so now the question with that is, if I go regular here... I'm no dead oh, I totally can, okay. Well, now I kind of want to see... So if we do free training... Cherry Hunter. At least this way I won't get distracted trying to use them. Okay, so these are actually legit different moves, because Forward Special doesn't OTG anymore. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that. Server Soul Kick feels like it might have additional iframes. 
this. Uh, what else? Air special? I feel like there's too much difference between the air specials. The main one is the forward special being different. So I don't know if the somersault kick is going to be too different as a defensive special either. It seems like it's really similar anyhow. Um, we got four things, right? What was the last one? So neutral, forward, air special. Oh, blitz. So this is low. Uh, this might be a bit safer to do than the knee, because sometimes it's possible to get Donovan or end up going off a cliff with the air blitz, but I think this would also depend on how much, how many iframes we get for it too. Although I feel like this is more distance than the air blitz. So I guess this is kind of different-ish enough to curious. Alright, well, let's see, let's put these all back to the uh, Cherry Hunter. I'm no dead and scared. Okay. So maybe at some point I'll try playing around and see what the, the uses of the other blitzes are. I don't think we're going to get too much value out of training unless I can start spawning in a bunch of extra enemies. So we'll have to field test them at some point. So, cool, lots of new content. I guess I'll have to find more time to do some more of this. So yeah, I am way later than I kind of intended here, but I guess I guess I didn't expect the Mania Plus run and the Estella run to take as long as they did. So, hmm. Yeah, definitely time to call it. But uh, we will be back tomorrow. We'll be doing Rosella Sojitic Plus, but... I'm thinking if the run dies, we'll probably swap over to doing some of this. Maybe try out Shiva, Max, and Ru. Although hopefully things don't die early enough that I end up being able to have enough time to do all three of those characters. That would be kind of disappointing. And Sunday, hopefully finishing up Days of Ruin, at least the story. But they are long maps, so no guarantees. And then Wednesday we'll come back for Rescue Team Deluxe. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow and have yourselves a good night.